Welcome one and all of them knives channel LTK here. Whew. Best tech buoy tie really looked good on Instagram. Really thought it was stud looking. That buoy style blade. It's the buoy tie. Is it is it like a bow tie? And that's bowie tie or is that buoy tie? I don't know. Should have been the Cimarron. Should have been something else if they wanted a Western style type name because of the buoy style blade. Maybe they should have given us something more um, appropriate. But the name being what it is, the knife is a good looking knife. So I was really looking forward to this coming out. It looks so much like a traditional knife, actually without the flipper tab and everything. I mean, I was almost thinking this might be a slip joint knife, you know, because it looks very traditional in that regard big choil on the front but it's not it's a flipper you know ceramic bearings the whole deal titanium bolster lock it's got this one is that and if if the model number's right i'll have to go back and look at this because i thought the 1906 d was supposed to be bronze and there was a mix up with numbers or whatever so i sent the first one back to white mountain and got this swip swap swapped out swipped out um so I got this one, but I didn't send it back. My first one had silver on the bolsters and liners and everything. And it had this copper in the carbon fiber, car shred carbon fiber with copper. Okay, so I was going to just keep it because I, well, I got the wrong color, but that's okay. I might just actually just get it anode like a green or something like that because you can unscrew these, okay, and take them right off the frame. There's no adhesive there. So you could just strip it down you could make this any color you want if you got the silver okay so i thought i might do that blue green purple something they'd all kind of pop nice with this gold but the problem is i got i just got down and started looking at it and then the scales on the first one had divots and marks and stuff in them and i go did i do something did i do that and i thought I think I only carried it once and it was in my pocket and I never like slid it down, you know, metal surface or smacked it on anything. So I'm going, I didn't do this. And uh, so I sent it back only because of that, not because I got the wrong color. And Justin sent me this one. So I got this one just out of the box, just, just like minutes ago. And I started eyeballing it, okay? Does that look scuff-ish to you? And you know, I'm not OCD. If I'm anything, I'm definitely not OCD. But take a look, get closer. Now let me zoom. Now you're starting to see stuff along here. Let me zoom in. Okay. I don't think these are normal to the knife. I don't think this e either and these marks up and down. See what I'm talking about? Maybe that's just character. But to me, that just doesn't look like the finish was ever done quite right. And look at this. I mean, we got tiger paw Im imprint up here. What is that? I mean, because that's... It doesn't look like part of the design. I mean, I know that it's shred in here, but it should be smooth. It should be smoothed out, sanded, machined, something. But then I'm seeing marks along here as well. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting too uh, particular, but, you know, kind of looks like marks are all around here. You can actually feel those with your fingernail too i mean uh so i'm gonna okay get back out of here sorry hell of a way to intro this but this is the second one where i've had imperfections in the scales and i just thought this is something that if you buy one of these knives you need to check it out you can always return it to the retailer if you have imperfections and they will replace or refund your money I want one of these in my permanent collection, but I really want your input on these scales because, I mean, just line of sight, does that look right to you? 
if it does, then I'm just uh, making things up here and not really uh, understanding that there's character marks in this kind of material. But to me, this doesn't look like what you would normally see in carbon fiber. Not that this is shred carbon shred with the copper, but this is just, this is my Leong Ma. Okay, uh, field duty, made by Riot, and this is marbled carbon fiber. Now, let's get close. Are you seeing damage? I'm not seeing any problems here. So I'm thinking, why is this uh, looking just fine? Then I'm thinking uh, that I really have issues. So I think we, I think there are specific issues here uh, with this. The buoy tie. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and go through this, uh, even though I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with this. I'm gonna uh, contact um, Wes Gear, who's the the USA rep, service rep for Best Tech. I mean, I can return it to White Mountain, no problem. It's just at some point in time, they're not going to have this copper, this carbon fiber shred copper particles uh, and this this whole setup available anymore. Um, you know, they'll be sold out at some point in time. Let's measure it up. I like the ergos. I like everything on it except the scales just don't seem right. 3.6, uh, 3.65 inches on the blade, which is like 92, 93 millimeters right in there. And then eight and three eighths overall, mm, close to 21 and a half centimeters. Now, how fat is it in the hand? And let's try and get that. 0.52, which is 13.3, 13.2. And I don't think that really changes up and down now. Okay. So, um, yeah. And then what's our blade stock? About three and a half uh, millimeters. Oops. <laughs> what was it? 3.6? which would equate roughly to 0.14 of an inch. So it's not four millimeters, three and a half, okay. Is, I, mean, I don't think this is the hand rub. The first one I got was hand rubbed, and I think this is just kind of a bead blast finish here with satin flats. M390 blade, obviously, uh, buoy style, blade big choil up front here for sharpening and gives you a position to go forward and is it sharp yeah yeah it's nice it's got a pretty good factory edge on it so there you go like the bronze it's kind of a dirty bronze look because this is kind of it's kind of a maybe an antiqued or muted bronze look backspacer pocket clip same way um and then i think it goes well with the copper in the scales so i i like that combination i think it's probably the best looking variant of this model uh you got jimping and it's meaningful here so you can go forward like this uh, and or just like this so it's kind of a ramp it's going up here uh, the ergos are pretty good because you don't really have a true peak here it's kind of flat past this front choil and then here so yeah it kind of pushes you into this little canoe area in a way but not bad and it's not uncomfortable I mean, it's not the Ergo King, but it's pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Gives you a good purchase on the knife. Reverse grip, pretty good as well. Let me throw something out here. Uh, my little mini Doman 
for size comparison obviously is a lot smaller but if you start going to like uh, the best tech swordfish swordfish is definitely bigger and uh, oh my two you knife Cebu is definitely a bigger knife close a little bit bigger though and of course my ever dangerous recon one and yes it's much bigger check it out uh you don't of course they're not doing any weight relieving on the inside or going to skeletonize these liners because they're already cut away so severely with the carbon fiber on them and then you got yourself kind of a landing zone in here for your finger uh, your pass through here is very very pronounced maybe a little bit more than I would have done myself um, I think you could have taken that down a 16th easily and still given me plenty I mean I've complained about some knives that I thought had no real pass through it was both elevations on this side and this side were even and therefore you kind of had to dig but this is that's a bunch that's a bunch and it you know it kind of yells at you when you look at the uh, knife right here it, it it's talking to you so yeah uh, a little bit more maybe than I would have wanted but the overall design I really like I just think it's cool and the most expensive model is like $280 and then the ones like this or whatever in the 250 range before discount and LTK code you know White Mountain 10% so 25 bucks off the 250 model so you're to two and a quarter with M390 uh, you know ceramic bearings and this nice shred carbon fiber with copper in it I'm saying nice but I mean you know ideally it should be um fit and finish well uh scales ain't nothing to write home about are they but let me see you know here it's pretty good transition here there's no big hang-ups uh at all uh, I've seen much worse that's for sure and so this is this is pretty well done. I'm, I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, obviously, you know, this moves in it. So, yes. Uh, and you got hardened steel insert over travel stop, all that. You can see through there. And we'll disassemble it. So, I mean, see inside. Pocket clip looks nice. And it works reasonably well. And you kind of got to do a... You know, you got to do a titanium uh, machine pocket clip. I mean, you just have to on a knife like this. You can't put a cheap steel stamped on there. You got a lanyard hole in the back. And how are you using your space? You're using it pretty well, aren't you? I mean, because your backspacer wraps around, so you really can't do much more with the blade there than that. And yeah, it's centered. I haven't tried to adjust the pivot or do anything here uh, and we'll all do that when we throw it back together and the next thing of course of importance is how much does it weigh and we'll throw it right on here grams 128 so it's yeah it's kind of in that moderate zone it's not ultra light but four and a half ounces not bad not bad you're probably getting a lot of benefits by deleting a lot of the titanium and putting the carbon fiber in there lightening it up even though you have this fairly extensive backspacer on there so that does add some weight although this is not four millimeter this is three and a half that helps a little bit to reduce the weight and the plunge looks good symmetrical yeah yeah, that, that, that's pretty firm uh, D10 on there. I'm going to try and fail it. I think the first one I had was a little less of a D10 than this, but I couldn't fail that one either. 
there you go see i cannot fail this so this is automatically over a five and really i'd say this is a let me see if i can just make sure i'm not influencing it with this and i'm not because it's a bolster lock um wow that's a solid five and a half flipper tabs not too outlandish or big tall lengthy front to back uh, necessarily could have been a little less maybe there than profile than that but uh, it's okay it's very intuitive and just give her a kick and you're good so yeah, it's solid. It's de definitely in my snappy knife zone. This is definitely snappy. Snappy, not a slow swinging gate when you execute the flip. It's bang, it's right out there. So yes, and it comes in a box if you haven't noticed. These boxes that Best Tech has are very structural, very strong. This is the 1906C zipper pouch, paperwork, Lots of silica snack pouches. And there you go. There's your plastic and your microfiber cloth in here. So double pouch type deal. Nice pouches, like them, easy to operate, no hangups there. So really good, strong, structural with an internal pouch. So that's not bad for two and a quarter all in free delivery in the USA so I like that and you can see how the ring around the pivot is uh, also anodized but it looks a little bit more shiny and showy than the, than the rest of the uh, titanium on the knife and really to tell you the truth I don't know. let me pull my magnet um, I'm not getting any magnetism out of these screws there's something in here that's giving me a little pull so maybe it's whatever's going through the backspacer we'll see that later nothing nothing there I'm getting a pull here and a pull here so whatever's coming through here but the screws themselves no so they might be titanium possible to anodize them don't know why they didn't do it if they were why they didn't do that and another thing as it comes to my mind take a look at the screws kind of a typical cap head screw isn't it and you go why wouldn't they have put like machined screws i mean you're i mean this is the tepe designs hornet which was like a whole 130 bucks but it, you know they put machine screws in you get machine screws on a lot of knives and these are not so why why cheap out on the hardware like that i mean you get that yeah odd you would think so that's a little bit disappointing as well actually well and no blade plate no lock rock and of course yeah, lockup is pretty light there. 20% is bragging. So there you go on that. Reasonably good size knife, four and a half ounces. Uh, beautiful design. I really like the design. And so, you know, this was when I saw this on their Instagram, I go, must have. I must have it. Just love that combination of that blade and the handle. I love the fact that they have a bolster here and that they have done the scales on both sides to make this symmetrical. So there's so much about this knife that's good. And I think we're still going old school with uh, number sixes and number eights. So let's just do this and here's our number eight obviously we got no choice because there's no access from the front and you know we we're moving this side around too but i can stabilize it with my finger so that's a good thing if we had more thread locker on that thing we'd be playing hell wouldn't we so let's check this out 
take these screws out. And of course, we've got scales on top of our underlying frame here. So, okay, here we go. Pocket clip. You coming, buddy? The whole thing's coming off. There we go. Pocket clip still intact. Hey, why not? I don't care. So there's the underneath here of your outer scale with the pocket clip. And yeah, I guess I could see that I can pull it away if I want. It's just that it's, you know, it's got a machined area it sits down into. And that's where that's all at. Let's put it over here with the screw to the pocket clip. Here's your liner. That looks pretty clean. Looks pretty good. And let's see if we can pull away from this backspacer. There we go. <sighs> Ceramic detent ball. Uh, steel washer. That I guess I could remove, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave her right where she lays right in there. Why not? And ceramic bearings. There's both sides of the blade. Wipe them down. And there's your bearings on the other side. And yes, you do have a flattened pivot. So how is that turning? How is that turning? Well, and then on the other side, there's that. That shouldn't have turned. So, okay, whatever. And then, of course, here's your, you know, your pivot surround that's obviously titanium anodized. There's that. And where did I just throw my bearings? Right here. Okay, so we got steel washers, there's our backspacer, the whole setup on the other side, and of course we got the uh, blade stop still sticking there. Just wanted to take it apart, kind of take a look, you know, here we go, hardened steel insert, all that. So, no magic, no magic, no muss, no fuss. There's our, you know, pivot surrounds. And so we can just throw this little puppy right back together anytime. And uh, as I believe we had <clears throat> the presentation side had this little dog going through. Now, um, when this comes into the contact with that, we need that squared part to match up with that. So it's got to face that way. And we want to put the bearings in here. Kick it around. And we want to put the blade back on. Oh, well, let's throw a little. I keep forgetting to do this, you know. Put a little bit of lube on the, on the detent track. Because I'm insane and I, I should remember this all the time. Oh, God, you know what? I just put this pivot in here and I shouldn't have because I got to put this in first. Dank. There you go. Now let's put it back. Lord. Forgot my pivot surround there. Okay, we got it all this the right way now. Okay, now we can throw the bearings. And tap just a drop or two in there. Throw this puppy on. And set it down like, like that. Okay. Now we got that. And that. Come on. You can do this. Okay. Number eight to the rescue. 
get to it buddy and there we go now we just need all the rest of this craziness to come true that little screw goes right to there these back here set them down of course pocket clip goes in over there so um, yes are we lined up please lord let's do that okay okay good middle of the scale don't you love it <sighs> typical super long LTK uh, review and disassembly thing sorry about hanging you up brothers it's just uh, it takes what it takes I guess and looking through a camera is all kinds of fun. All kinds of fun when you do it. It can be frustrating enough without looking through the camera to do it. But there we are. We're put back together. Mostly, mostly. And it looks like we're centered right up. Well, that's solid. Okay. Wow. Okay. And it still has the same damn detent. It's... it's it, it's pretty impressive. I mean, it's it's snappy. It's not like some of the weak sisters I've had on here. And of course, no Windex on here yet. So this is au natural for greasy fingers now with the lube and everything. Take care. You know what we do. We love them knives. We're telling you to stay sharp.